Welcome back to another teardown everyone. Today we'll be tearing down the recently released Apple Beats Pill Bluetooth speaker. At a price tag of approximately $150, let's see what this speaker is made of. So sit back and enjoy this teardown. First off, we will remove the lanyard from the speaker to get out of the way. Next, we will gently pry it off the front grille. This is a nice metal grill with the Beats logo in the center. One thing to keep in mind is that there is this plastic ring that attaches the metal grill to the enclosure. This would need to be taken off and reattached to the grill before both parts can be reinserted back onto the speaker. I will leave it alone for now. Next, to remove the front portion of the speaker, we will remove six stickers to access and take off six screws. Once that is completed, we will pry off the front panel and then disconnect two cables for the woofer and tweeters. Now we will remove the woofer by taking off four screws and then prying off the woofer. And here we have the racetrack woofer. It features an oval design that displays 90% more air than circular drivers, delivering deeper bass and clear mid-range tones. Now we will take off the tweeters by removing four screws and then prying out the tweeters. Here we have the tweeters, which is designed for crisp high and rich mid-range tones. Housed separately for stability, it reduces distortion and enhances clarity, delivering balance and detailed audio. And here we have the front panel. Next, we will be removing the battery. First thing we're going to do is remove two screws to remove this plastic piece that hold the battery enclosure to the body of the speaker. Once that is done, we will turn the speaker to the bottom and peel off the rubber grip pad. Now we will use a T5 screw bit to remove 12 screws to take off the metal battery cover. With that done, we can pull out the battery pack. This battery pack is a 3300mAh battery pack that provides up to 24 hours of usage on a single charge. With quick charge, a quick 10 minute charge can give you up to 2 hours of play time, so you never have to worry about running out of power. To remove the battery compartment, there are two more screws that need to be removed. We will now pry off the battery compartment and also detach the battery cable from the motherboard. And here with the battery enclosure. It also contains the bridge board that is the connection from the battery to the motherboard. Now we will remove the motherboard by taking off seven screws and two ribbon cables. Here we have the motherboard, which serves as a central hub integrating various components to ensure seamless functionality. It houses the main processor, Bluetooth 5.3 module, and audio circuitry that manages sound output. It allows the ability to link multiple speakers for stereo sound and support lossless audio via USB-C. Now to remove the control board, we will take off four screws and a ribbon cable. Here we have the control board, which contains the main buttons to control the function of the speaker. Next, we will remove two screws to take off the charging board. 
Here we have the charging board, equipped with a USB-C port, to facilitate efficient power delivery and support lossless audio input. Here we have the empty enclosure of the Beats pill, designed to balance aesthetic, durability, and acoustic performance. Made from high quality material, it provides a robust structure that protects the internal components including the racetrack woofer, tweeters, and motherboard. And this concludes the teardown of the Apple Beats pill. If, if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you'll be notified of all my future teardowns. Other than that, see you again on the next video.